Hey guys, this is Peter and today I'm taking a look at a 4G LTE antenna. So this one is actually has a, uh, a decibel gain. So this is great. 7 to 10 to get decibel gain and this one is from Proxycast. You know, I've been using 4G LTE routers. Uh, you may have seen this one. This is the Kufi. This is the one I'm actually testing right now. I've done a shootout. I've tested many of them and I'm going to keep testing them. But today I'm taking a look at different antennas and I originally bought this one. This was an antenna from Proxycast and I wanted to get an antenna outside to see if I could get better signal. Better signal with a 4G LTE network means, well, better bandwidth. At least that was my assumption. So they actually sent me this one and I want to test this one out. I have it right here. This is great. It's pretty low profile. You can mount it to the side of a house, that kind of thing. Hey, it's important to know where your 4G LTE tower that you're trying to communicate is. I have many different videos on that that show you how to, well, run different apps. And um, I always say you let your phone be your guide. Obviously, if you want a different provider, uh, we can find out what the closest tower is. I, I showed you how that my daughter going to school, I was able to look up where uh what was in her area what towers were there and as it turns out t-mobile was the great provider for her so that's going to work great in fact they had a tower right on campus today i'm taking a look at this one it looks like this it's a panel you put it up on your roof like this you put it on a pole so i was very excited this is outside it's elevated it's pointing at the right general area and i want to test it out so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my web browser and type in a URL, well, actually a web, a web address into the URL a, a bar that lets me access the firmware. So here, 192.168.1.1. Every manufacturer is a little bit different, or some of them are the same. And that gets you into the firmware of this box. This box is hooked up. I have my SIM card that I got from T-Mobile stuck into it. Yes, I pay for it. So I pay for T-Mobile, I paid for the modem, but this antenna is gonna allow me to get better signal to that box. And well, here's what I wanna check out. So this is a local address, 192.168.1.1, gets me to the firmware for that box. So I'm gonna get right into it and there we go. Gotta change my password. Look at this uh, signal that I'm getting here. Shows my T-Mobile's my provider. I get a 93 on my signal. That is a pretty darn good signal strength. Oh, look at it, it just jumped to 100. That's beautiful. All right, so yeah, it's a wonderful antenna. It's on my roof. It's facing towards the, um, uh, well, the, where the tower is. So I was able to look up, find out where the tower is. Let your phone be your guide. You can download the Ookla app for free and test out what kind of bandwidth you get. That's what we're gonna be able to get you. Oh, this is a 600, this is a $900 radio. So I'm able to get the same kind of performance, maybe even a little bit better. With a radio like this, same SIM card, and well, I'm now able to get, that's great. Let's go ahead and check this out. Uh, so if you're getting happy with those scores, you're gonna be happy with these. Here's the network, and we're looking at 100% signal strength again. Let's give it a shot. Here's the speed test. T-Mobile, you can see that, and it's pinging off a Comcast server all the way in Sacramento. Let's see what we get. It is prime time here. 37 ping, not bad. Woo, keep going. I'm looking at 75, 70, I saw 77 in there. I did see it briefly in 80. This is outstanding. This is what I, oh my God, did I almost see a 90? Wow, time of day thing, but uh, this is as bad as it's gonna get. 83 is downright good and 30 up. I get six up from Comcast. This is much better. So who's this for? Now, obviously, if you have kids that are distance learning and all that stuff and you're remote working and you're all on Zoom 12 hours a day, it, it, this would eat through a data plan rather quickly. But if you are like a lot of people and you, uh, well, you use the internet for email and for getting to the web and for the occasional movie watching, uh, People like T-Mobile are enabling, or providers like T-Mobile are attracting your business by giving you things like the ability to access some services for free, like Netflix. So if you watch a lot of Netflix, you could actually offload that Netflix traffic either completely. You know, um, sometimes I have access to a beach house and I like being able to go up there, but I need access to the internet. Maybe I gotta do a Zoom call or maybe I gotta hop online and uh, do Teams or you know, go to meeting, I can do all of that and then 
the whole family, we can have internet access, good internet access, as you can see, and watch movies and not have to worry about falling asleep during the movie because uh, it's you're not going to be have to pay for that traffic. So this is pretty cool, and it's all made better by this antenna. These scores are really darn nice. And as you can see, my signal strength is pretty darn amazing. Yeah, 96% signal. That is amazing. That's way better than I was getting before. And it enabled this radio to do its job. And uh, wow, it worked performing like a $900 phone. But for 135 235 235 it's not bad at all. Anyway, guys, I want to show this to you. I will be taking a look at other antennas. I do have other radios as well. Also, for other radios that we've talked about in the past, you know, we've had this shootout. We took a look at the Ecom P21. I have some new firmware for that. Believe it or not, we've changed the market. We've actually sold uh, or helped sell enough of those. Well, you guys did. I just talked about it. But without you guys, you know, uh, without you guys watching the program, uh, you know, I wouldn't be anything. So... The fact that we all watched it together and we're learning and we're pushing the market different directions. We told them about the time to live feature and they implemented a new firmware and I've got a copy of it. I'm going to give it to you and show you how to install it. That's pretty cool. This Kufi looks like it's doing great with external antennas. I want to try it on my Mophie. I haven't even tried it yet, but that is a serious beast of a radio and I can't wait to try that one out. Anyway, guys, oh, I also got another antenna, and I have something else. Oh, I have another Yecom. They sent me their top of the line. So uh, that looks like it's getting some wonderful connection scores. I just have to play with it some more. Hey, if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. And as always, please like these videos. It really helps out when you do. It doesn't cost you anything. Just give it a like. I will put links to all these different products we saw below. Uh, this radio or this antenna is rather cool. It does have some pretty serious connectors on it. They look like this. And obviously that's different than what plugs into my radio. So what I had to do, uh, they actually sent me the cable, the right cables. I'll put links to all the pieces that you need because you don't just want to buy the antenna. you got to get the cables to make it work. Um, worked out great. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Please ask any questions. That's how we all learn. And uh, we'll see you in the next one talk to you soon hey guys uh, just one more thing you know a lot of people are saying what is this for why are you getting everyone to go on 4g lte you know for some people it makes a lot of sense for others it doesn't if you are running a server in your home this does not make any sense but if your bandwidth is limited because um of what you do with it this could be an excellent choice a lot of people i looked this up you can actually just google it what is the average internet speed across the United States? It's actually much lower than you thought. It's 50.2 megabits per second. So, uh, and then there's, they're naming off cities that have more and some that have less. Uh, and the average for AT&T is only 40 megabit. The average for Spectrum's 52, Centuries 20, Frontier 38. So um, there's a lot of people in a lot of different places around the country that are getting some, well, look at this. There's Alabama, New Mexico, seven megabit. I'm sorry, that's not enough to do what you need. What are we browsing, streaming the internet? You know what it's like. I remember I stopped, uh, we took the kids up camping and we stopped at a, a little dock. We were on a houseboat and the dock said, you know, that they had internet. So I always said, oh good, I'll be able to VPN into work and, uh, you know, take over the desktop and do a couple things real quick and only take me five minutes. They had, <laughs> they had horrible internet access. It wasn't even a megabit. There's no virtual desktoping there. So uh, this is what it takes in order to make this all work. You know, streaming HD videos, you really need 10 to 12 megabit. Casual gaming, well, one to two people, that's about right. Then we go two to four people, you're looking at 20 megabit. So is this good enough? The UCLA test that we're seeing with 83 and 27, absolutely. That is some really good internet. And a lot of people are trying to get those kind of speeds, but they can't any other way. One person wrote to me, they're paying $90 a month for less than 10 megabit. Uh, a good friend of mine lives at the end, very nice house, by the way, the end of a private, uh, there's a private uh, driveway at the end of a private street. And to get cable would cost him $45,000 for them to go and cut up the, the street. And he says, I'm just not willing to do it. So a solution like this would be excellent. Now you can actually stream video 
like Netflix, with people like T-Mobile and not have to pay those crazy prices. Anyway, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Uh, take a look at my other videos, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you soon.